Hello guys. In this living room here, we have this folding couch that becomes to a like a queen size bed, something like that. It was a very old fabric and it was not in a good shape. So what we did was we took the old stuff and we took with us and our friend in Brazil he's a professional guy and he made new covers for us so at this point in this living room we have to fix because I remember when we are taking this couch apart it was missing screws and some springs so we have to find out where they are and, and make this uh, set again also in this living room I want to show you something what we did here we change this is was a fabric we change and this is was another type of fabric we use something this is like a fake leather but it's very good so we have to put this up on top the cabinets they are just oh the screws are, are getting loose because it's too much weight we gotta put some screws uh, over there so we did not have a chance to do that here in the front of the cabin I already did this side it's something like for you to put um, it's like a small place for storage area so I have to install it back again here so we have a lot of uh, things to do it we got to do the baseboard, I will use a baseboard and, call, and seal it caulk all around. So we change, that was wallpaper. We put uh, plastic sheets, which is easier to clean and, and preserves better than wallpaper. Uh, the dinettes. We already changed the cover, that was our old fabric too. But we gotta install the dinettes and put the seat belts on them. Also, we gotta fix the table. I don't know if the table is good or not. I don't remember. When I, because it, it takes a... Uh, we bought this RV about three years ago. So, and it's our... It's, every vacation this is about our third or fourth vacation that we come here and we do a little bit of work but it's coming along so when i got this couch done i will show you to you guys so guys uh we just put the covers in the couch the covers that our friend uh mario Mario, he lives in Brazil, he's a professional uh, guy, he made this for us, we took the old ones to him, and he was able to do it for us, but we have to put the frame, this uh, frame that goes on the floor, it's go it's screwed it for bolts, so I gotta find the bolt somewhere here, and put them. I don't remember, I have one thinking that I might have to cut some of those screws. Hopefully I will find, otherwise I will have to put the new one. Uh, I have a big problem here, a very big problem. You remember that we are putting the cabinets, things did not went well not at all i will show you when i went to put this part in here we had one inch a little bit less than one inch about one inch 
it was not working so we had to take everything apart and start from here so I just put this here I'm using this to hold as I screw this I'm doing a little bit careful looking uh, because this is the third time that I had to take this in and out I took it out the first time to make the walls in the ceiling and then I put back again and then that wall there was not uh, was not uh, touching to the cabinets because the cabinets was away to the front and then I took it out yesterday me and my wife put it back in and then when I went to put that piece it didn't work so I had to take it out again uh, the cabinets is not in good shape so I had to be very careful and I have to glue them and maybe change the wood that's no good maybe a little bit of sanding and gluing and doing this thing so I will show you when we get this ready uh, so right now we are just focused on this cabinet later we will put this part here these blinder covers are there the round uh, this is more like for decoration thing <coughs> I think they use that when the RV is moving, the blinding doesn't start going everywhere. Uh, and then you put the, uh, the baseboard, I will show you when I will do the baseboard. Do a little bit of cleaning and put the things back again. So I will show you the next step. Okay guys, we just installed uh, the cabinets, okay, you see the wires that were, uh, you can see the wires right there, this thing goes like that, and then you put this to cover them up, because this is uh, where you're going to store your things from your kitchen or your living room, so that cabinet it's installed. I just find, found out yesterday that we are about three quarters towards to the back now. That's right when we put this piece, it was not fitting. So I'm a little bit concerned because I don't know if I'll be able to, to put this cabinet because uh, it's it's not the right measurement I should have been more careful when I was installing because this is, takes a lot of time it goes a lot of screws in addition uh, it's a little bit heavy even that I made like a support that I showed you in the video we got uh, the AC working fine how the electric is working, I connect the speaker, I connect this outlet here, which is working fine too. I put this siding for the binders. Also, I want to show you something here that we had a problem. This thing was falling apart and I want to show you what I did here you can see I had to cut this plastic to reinforce the support for the blinder because it was loose no matter how big the screws are it was not attaching very well so I had to put like two screws in the plastic plus two screws in the support so it's holding better now so at this point we at this point we are at right now so what we are going to do now is work in the cabinets in the wall in the restroom there that problem with the hurricane it's 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 it's, it's on our way so i'll have to 
reinforce that wall so when we take the jack off it doesn't smash the walls again like we did the first time so one thing is uh, unfortunately because we are not professionals it's uh, our first time doing this uh, repairs uh, we gotta put things together take it apart and then put together again we got we gotta do like two two times at least or three to figure out to make things perfect you know uh, functional uh, so I show you the next step later okay guys uh, we installed this cabinet and the walls we put back the walls remember that when we were taking the jack the walls was uh, smashing uh, in was now we got the walls we put all the screws it's nice and strong so I gotta work with these outlets the lighting put some of the moldings here caulk a little bit in and out and the next step that I will do now you know, put the blind covers okay guys so we installed the cabinet we put all the screws in the cabinet nice secure like we showed you we put the, this cover for the blinders it's nice and secure uh, this part here I will show you later uh, I built uh, one aluminum L type that it's nice and it's a little bit it's not too thick but it, it's uh, it's gonna be nice and wide and thick and will hold very well here uh, up on top in here I will show you the inside we had uh, these white pieces that you see in the cabinet that was the leftovers from the the wall pieces that we had so we just use it inside the cabinet to protect when we will put our things from the kitchen here like uh, our cough pots and toasters uh, grinders mixers things like that that we have from the kitchen some pots and some grills electric grills we have the electric uh, stove let me show you so we have this electric stove because we are out of gas and as we are remodeling I don't want to fill up the tank because like I said the RV was uh, sitting for a long time I was afraid that we might have some I don't know maybe we do but maybe not we might have some gas leaks in the pipes so we have to check that when we get out the remodeling inside here that's one thing that I will do so what we will do later now the next step I will show you right now uh, I bought this at Home Depot I don't remember how much we paid for but you can also get online I will put a link uh, in the description that you can buy from Amazon this actually from eBay sorry uh, this thing here is the is the white 